Just days after arriving in country, Afghan hands make their way to Kabul for an integration course, which includes one-on-one -on -one refresher language training before moving on to their missions. Just knowing uh, how to say, how are you, you know, how's your family, you know, safe travels, good evening, good night, things like that. If you use it, and if you're not afraid to use it with the population that you're going to be dealing with on your deployment, it goes a long way. One of their instructors can be seen here. Although we've disguised his face for security reasons, he shares with us his thoughts about his students. Surprisingly, some of them speak very good Tari uh, language, you know. When they are really wanted to learn this language, they improve amazingly. The approach that he took, um, it, it was actually really perfect because he quickly identified what kind of a learner I was and what kind of homework I would respond to and what kind of feedback I would respond to. And I, I, I got a lot out of that short period of time with him. For Afghan hands like Army Captain Molly Schaefer, their language training began with a full-time 16-week course before deploying. Although experiences with language and culture varies from person to person, most of the group studied with her in Washington, D.C., while others received training in Tampa, Florida. Uh, for four months, um, pretty much without break, uh, we studied Dari or Pashto, and for me it was uh, the Persian Dari language. And it was, it was pretty intense, it was pretty crazy because it's a completely different language. They read right to left instead of left to right. Um, there, there's sounds that in the English language we can't even create. Always my advice for them is to be motivated. I believe if we speak one language, we are one person. If we speak several languages, we are different people. Most Afghan hands interface with locals on a daily basis, which requires both language and cultural understanding. They do their best to interface between the coalition and local Afghans, with the goal of enabling Afghanistan to govern itself with the hope of a prosperous future. Marine Staff Sergeant Jason Price, Kabul, Afghanistan.